we're gonna try and make this work. I've tried to do this so many times and for some reason it's not working, but we're gonna cross our fingers and just jump right in. And basically there's so many different parts right now that are going on energetically. There's so many different things that are happening and rearranging and all of this is happening for a divine purpose and divine reason. And what's really happening right now I think is, um, you know, revolutionary and it's working out for the best of of all of the all of the reasons but i think where i need to really start and focus on in this particular video in this update is really what's happening in the energetics of you um and humanity in the consciousness of of humans um as well as all animals as well but particularly humans and so what's happening is we're up leveling from a conscious standpoint and um, integral psychology, there are five levels or five monads of consciousness. Um, the first two being that of just like very basic elementary operation, basic needs, etc. Um, basic understanding and conceptualization of the body. The third, which is what we're in or what we have been living in, is the third. The, the material world, um, the physical construct and everything that we can see and observe within the world as well as our physical self. And we've been stuck in that physical reality, that third dimension, and now we're really being shaken up to move beyond into a higher dimensional consciousness, into a higher monad of consciousness. Um, and right now, collectively, most are rising into the fourth level of dimensional consciousness, which is... Um, when we begin to expand beyond the physical construct of reality and the physical construct of perception and psychological affiliation into, um, you know, a more of a soul oriented experience. So everything that's happening right now is shaking up that third dimensional consciousness. So we are very much so in our third dimensional reality. We um, have been run by the material world rather than us controlling the material world. And so right now that's being shifted and changing. We have been the victim of the material world rather than being the creators of the material world. When you're operating from a fourth dimensional conscious standpoint, you're able to operate from a being rather than doing. Everything that's occurring right now is really shaking us up because what are we in the third dimension? We're consumers. And if you kind of look around right now, are many people doing much consuming? No, what's being consumed is for the majority basic needs and maybe like games or arts and crafts and things that really bring you into the present moment that allow you to sort of utilize the creative being of your essence. We operate most of the time from the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex controls um, our sense of time as well as the past orientation and the future orientation. And um, so what happens when we're living from the prefrontal cortex or operating from that standpoint of our um, consciousness is we are repeating past patterns or we are taking past occurrences and we are trying not to repeat them in the now out of fear or we're trying not to repeat them in the future out of fear it's a very fear-based orientation we are working we're pushing we're forcing we're we're putting ourselves out there and doing and doing and doing and doing and doing out of the fear of not being enough of not having enough or not acquiring enough and in the physical material world. And so right now that's shifting and our level of consciousness is shifting. And with everything that's happening, our consumption rate is down and we're allowed to be, or most people are giving this space where we're not actively doing and we're being called to be. Because when we live in the present moment, our awareness and our consciousness is able to expand. And when we're expanding our consciousness, what is happening is we're actually being able to open up and being able to see a new level of perception of the world and being able to operate at a different conscious level. And when we're operating from a soul level, which is sort of the fourth dimensional level, we're being able to understand that what we see and perceive is actually a construct of what has been perceived within our mental or conscious self. And that it's actually the mental conscious self that creates all of the aspects that are around us. It's really about bringing us back into alignment and really seeing ourselves in Christ consciousness or unity consciousness. Regardless of what you believe in, 
And so what that means is um, when you're viewing yourself from Christ consciousness or God consciousness, you're a God, I'm a God, we are creators. What's a God? It's a creator. It created every little thing and every little aspect that you can see and affiliate with yourself through the physical. And we're actually being pulled away from orientation of the physical and more of coming into the knowing, okay? And so a lot of fear is getting shaken up in order to be purged, in order to come and settle into more of a heart-spaced area, love, because when we're in love, we're actually operating in a present state. And we're actually operating from a creator state, from a God state, from a Christ state, from a unity state, being able to identify that I am you and you are me and I am this tree and I am this chair and I'm this shirt and I created everything that I'm experiencing right now is what we're really awakening to in our consciousness. So the prefrontal cortex is actually getting shut down or inhibited right now to some degree um, to pull us into the present moment. This is why a lot of people are experiencing so much head, um, head pulsing, third eye pulsing, headaches, head tension, um, feeling a little off kilter, time disorientation, ear ringing and things like this is because the prefrontal cortex is actually being inhibited right now to pull us into the present moment, to awaken and broaden our perspective um, and I expand our consciousness. And it's funny because we think that we are meant to do, 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 and it comes from doing, but actually the expansion of the conscious standpoint of us comes from being. Our subconscious is what actually creates our reality. Your subconscious is running 95% of the time. What you're consciously viewing is only about 5% of what you're experiencing in your reality. And right now, when we're being brought into the present moment, instead of creating um, this habitual pattern, which our subconscious is habitual. It, it's conditioned and programmed by habitual processes. And when we live from the prefrontal cortex and we're pulling from the past, trying to prevent it in our now and having anxiety about it occurring again in our future, we're creating a habitual pattern of the same situation over and over again. When we inhibit the prefrontal cortex, we actually are able to rewire and reconstruct the subconscious mind. And when we're living moment to moment to moment, more presently, that's when we begin to expand and begin to create a habitual pattern that's different. That's when change begins to occur in the prefrontal cortex um, uh, being inhibited. It creates this change in our subconsciousness and we are allowed to perceive beyond the physical construct. And so right now that's really what we're awakening to, what's happening. And yeah, there's other moving parts and other elements to this that are coming into this. The body is upgrading as well. And that's something that we'll have to jump into in another video because it's just so dense. But, um, and this is very dense as well, but I tried to really simplify it in a very sort of short expressive way. So that's very comprehensive. Um, right now is not the time to like be distracted. Okay, we've been pulled away from distractions and consumption for a particular reason. Why? Because we're not here to consume. We're here to create. We're here to um, be able to provide. You know, this is about being able to get in touch with the soul and being able to get in touch with a different um, perspective that goes beyond the consumption and observation of the physical and really allowing us to say, what can I contribute? What can I create? Because that's actually why we're all here. That's why we chose to be here and incarnated on earth at this time. And so it's really about breaking down the constructs and illusions right now of what held us captive in being ruled or controlled by the physical and really making us flip that switch to see that we are actually in control of the physical. And that's happening on a scientific level, on a bodily level, on an energetic level, and so many other levels. But for now, that's kind of where we're at. And if you're here and you're watching this, thank you so much. I appreciate you beyond words and I'm sending you so much love. It's such an exciting time and it's really, really cool. So allow yourself to have fun and explore what's calling you now because it's really about breaking down what we've been told and the responsibilities of the material world to really allow our inner creator to experience life in the way that we've 
we wanted. And now is that time and now is that moment. So yeah, it's exciting. Have fun, create, um, you know, really tune into the heart space and, and allow what wants to come through to come through. And thank you so much for, for listening. And yeah, there'll, there'll be some more um, updates on more of the other little pieces. But for now, that's where we're going to end it.